Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpentine Special Forces, and I apparently have a hardware addiction problem because I bought more stuff. Let me go over the parts here and why I'm building this, especially in that old case right there. So first off, we got the Z390 Tachi Ultimate from ASRock, perfectly capable motherboard. Uh, actually powered my 9900K, no problems. But then I sold the 9900K and turned around and got the uh, Core i5-9600K, six core CPU, perfectly capable of getting the job done for what I am planning. G-Skill Trident Z RGB memory, 3200 megahertz kit. Why do I have this? Well, I upgraded to four sticks of the Crucial Ballistics Max, 4400 megahertz. We're gonna be powering the system with the Corsair CX750F RGB. Storage, or at least the main storage is gonna be the SX8200 Pro, one terabyte. It's gonna be on main SSD. Uh, and we got four 12 terabytes Iron Wolf platter hard drives. This is gonna be the NAS. Now, what is this old case doing here? Well, it's an old core master case that you've probably seen on Linus Tech Tips when they were trying to see how much static electricity it would take to kind of shock a memory stick or break a component. And it will serve me for the purpose that I'm trying to do, which is to build a NAS and a Chia Farmer. So let me throw you guys on a time lapse, get the party started, and we'll see what the final result is.
guys, here she is in all her old-fashioned glory. Uh, really dirty, really nasty. Just took the little mesh, whatever it was, behind here that was really clogged up. Actually looks kind of like that. Just caked on brown dirt from the previous owner of this case. And, um, of course, all the hardware is installed, but I had a couple of issues along the way. I'm not sure if you caught it during the time lapse, but this little, I'm not sure what this is, this little metal beam right here kind of, it's a piece of aluminum that curves around and it had that on the bottom as well. And if you look at the electrical tape right here, I had to cut it with my aluminum cutters, uh, but because that makes it so sharp, I put that electrical tape just to be protective. Uh, there's the rubber screws, or excuse me, the, the screws with the rubber dampening. Hopefully that should help mitigate any vibrations. Not the best, honestly, but I plan on upgrading the case sometime in the future. So the GPU I did choose though is the HD5770, old school graphics card that I used to uh, partake in compute workloads with. Uh, this RGB of this PSU should be pretty nice to accent the motherboard and G skill memory, but it's kind of cramped in there. I did my best to kind of route the cables in a way to where they're not too clustered, um, giving some space so we can have some type of airflow. I know this fan that's dirty and nasty ain't gonna do much, but some type of airflow is better than nothing. This, this system should not get hot at all. We're just gonna be doing minor workloads on it of course all the cables are tucked up in there because we have no gpu shroud and the gp or the excuse me no power supply shroud and of course the power supply shroud is on the wrong side so old school case but we'll get the job done cooler master still kicking still doing well uh and it's just time to get windows installed boot up and get everything that i need so but there you go asrock z390 tachi ultimate Intel i5 9600K, Cooler Master H212, G Skill Trident Z RGB memory, old school ATI uh, HD5770, and ADATA XPG8200 Pro. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Do me a favor on the way out, please hit the like button, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's see, make sure this thing boots. Make sure there's no fans. That fan sounds like it's going out. That fan has a little blue LED. We're booting up. Oh yeah. All right, in the BIOS, play around with some presets. Good. See you guys later.